Hey everyone, Rob back here with Falker Sports Cards for another video, and today I'll be opening up first of three boxes of Topps Allen and Ginter 2023. Love this product, man. It's so cool. I mean, some of the cards are a little gimmicky and don't really mean much to me, but so the art is amazing in this product. Uh, I love the feel of these types of cards. Uh, not too much of a fan of the minis, but you can get some pretty cool uh, looking ones. Um, you know, we're looking, there are hot boxes of this stuff where, you, where each card is, a, is some kind of foil, uh, probably one per case, one or two per case, I would assume. And yeah, so we're going to be looking for typically, I guess, you know, two relics and an autograph. Uh, sometimes you get a rip card instead of an autograph or rip card instead of a, a, um, a relic. But yeah, so we'll be looking for that. You got the box topper as well, which you can get the, the rip cards as well. And we're looking for Mr. Wembenyama which is funny because it's a baseball product, but you're looking for a big basketball player, <laughs> pretty much. So here we go. Let's get into it. Let's see what our box topper is going to be. All right, so it looks like it's just going to be one of these regular oversized cards. And it's going to be Mr. Justin Verlander. Met for about half a year. <laughs> we'll put that one off to the side here. <clears throat> Actually, I opened up a couple boxes of these. Didn't hit too much in it. Um, when they first released and I bought on Topps website, uh, I did get, uh, two, my, my box loader was a, um, Shohei Otani, which was pretty cool. I still have that one. Last time I did open this product, the hit was like the fourth pack down in each, in each stack. So we'll see if that changes or not. See if it's the same. All right, let's get going. I'll just move this over just a bit. All right, so we didn't get a hot box. I can tell you that much because they're not foiled. We're also going to look for on the on the back of the cards. There's going to be the number. Anything over three hundred is going to be a high number. But you get like eight or nine of them in the in a box. I'm not going to be looking for them specifically. So they're basically image variations. So let's see. All right, so our first mini. This is going to be. You have an insert on the back of the card each time. Or back of the pack each time. Mini is going to be International Delights, which I think is kind of a short printed one. I think it's like one per 30 packs or so. So pretty much one per box. So what I'm going to do, actually, since this is a set with a lot of stuff in it, is I'm going to put minis down here, inserts down here, and base down there. I'll put the packs off to the side. So again, we're looking most likely for two relics and an autograph. I believe is what we should be looking for. You're not going to get many parallels in here. Um, I think, you know, the only parallels are like the one ones and like to fives, red to five, maybe. All right, let's see. What do we got here? We got uh, NEMS. So that's one of the uh, non-baseball cards. So you can see the, the backs of these are going to be the, uh, different types of backs for different parallels, essentially. Like you're going to have an Allen Ginter back. You're going to have a no number back. And those are all... Um, uh, range and rarity. And then we got a Pete Alonzo insert. Yeah, this might be a little bit longer of a rip here. Uh, just because it's it's tough to go through everything and, and know what you got. Um, without actually, like, taking a look at it real hard. Alright, so here we go with another music to my ears insert. And a mini regular back of Matt Olson. So this is where the hit was in my other boxes. The fourth pack down, so... Let's see if that continues. Uh, looks like maybe not. All right. So different collation. It's good. All right. Ooh, there's the mini, and we got a David Ortiz insert. The mini. See, yeah, so here's the Allen and Ginter back. Probably like uh, what one in one in five, one in six packs or something. So you know, a few of these a box. Put the Allen Ginter ones off to the side from there. Actually, we can kind of move these over. Kind of like to. Straighten everything out. All right, Mr. Trout. Again, we're oh, okay. So there's our first relic. It's going to be a Matt Olson. Put that down for a sec. Fun in the sun. And who's this? Patrick Wisdom, regular back. So Matt Olson. Uh, is it game used? I don't know. It says down here. What does that say? It says player-worn memorabilia. So I don't know how you can wear a bat, but somehow this bat was player-worn. <laughs> Interesting. So let's see. That should probably be able to fit in a normal. Actually, I don't have any top. I don't have any sleeves with me. 
So we're just going to put him up there. Unsleeved. Unprotected. Hopefully I don't get any, any big autograph or something because I just remembered that I ran out of sleeves when I was uh, getting some other stuff together and uh, forgot to take out another pack. Probably could just do that right now. Our Aaron Judge, and this is going to be one of the uh, insert minis, Everglades of Nas National Parks. These are probably another one of those. Oh, the, one, the World of Wonder. This is another one of those uh, short printed uh, uh, mini sets. Let me let me just get some sleeves here real quick. Got to open up a new pack. Get Mr. Mr. Olsen in there. I hit a lot of Matt Olsen. It's really odd. Guy follows me around. Autographs and memorabilia. All right, let's keep it rolling. Castellanos, Jordan Walker rookie, that's cool. Vientos rookie, that's another cool one. Now that, ugh, bad, bad, bad Mets news. Ronnie Mauricio down in the uh, uh, Dominican League, Winter League. I think it was Dominican, I don't remember where uh, what league it was, but anyway, in the Winter League. Went to go steal the base, put on the brakes, and tore his dang ACL, so he's out for a long time. So the third base job, he was going to be the starting third baseman most likely for the Mets this year. Super fun to watch, and uh, now we don't get to watch him. It's it's almost like Edwin Diaz all over again. Kind of sucks. But Mark Vientos and Brett Beatty are probably going to, I would assume, timeshare. They're both lefty-righty uh, at, th at third base, so we'll see how that goes. Let's see. This is another talented. And a regular back. And last pack of the first stack. All right. Brett Beatty, there's the other the other half of that tandem right there. <laughs> Adley Rushman, that's a nice one. That's actually a uh, image variation, high number one right there. So that's a rare rarer version of his card. And Kenny Lofton, that's a high number as well. All right, let's get on to the next stack here. Ichiro, nice. Miami, interesting. So here's your one per box uh, foil filigree, I believe it's called. Um, let's see who we're going to get. So a, uh, a non-baseball uh, O'Connor, president of business operations of the Marlins. Okay, Carolyn O'Connor. So we'll put her up there. Fun in the Sun, and who's this? Uh, Walker Bueller, regular back. Uh, keep it rolling. Ooh. Is that a, oh, no, that's not going to be a red. That's going to be one of the uh, short printed inserts. I thought it was a red for a sec. Volpe, that's nice. Actually, I don't know if there's reds in here. So, yeah, this is, uh, let's see, Don Mattingly insert, and this is, uh, what set is this called? I don't remember. Only in, right, only in. You get, like, one of these per box, potentially. I'll put that off to the side. I'm surprised we only have one Allen and Ginter back so far. All right. Keep a move on here. No Wemby's yet. Mini is going to be Jackie Robinson. Very nice. Regular back. Right, here we go. Uh, is this going to be a hit? Ooh, nice. Reese Hoskins. Relic. This has to be game used too, right? I would assume. If, yeah, game used memorabilia. All right, cool. Reese Hoskins. I like this version of the card, the Relic card, better than that. Um, there are also framed Relics too that are pretty cool looking. These aren't numbered or anything. No. And put that there we'll save the uh hopefully we don't get three relics and we get a uh, an autograph but you never know it could be three relics as well the regular back there all right so it looks like this is, it's the fifth pack down then one two three yeah it looks like it's the fourth fifth fifth pack down huh, interesting surprised it's not really like right like they know what pack is going into the box is gonna have the hits because in a, in a case it's like always the same same pack in each in each stack it has to hit there's an allen and ginter back of cole raggins 
Michael Reagan's right now. All right, Mr. Olsen. What do we got here? Oh, this is a black border. So these are uh, shorter printed, but not to the effect that it would really be valuable. Uh, the black borders are maybe one, one per box. Alex Verdugo, put him up there. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind getting a rip card. I don't know if I would rip it or not. I'd probably not rip it considering <laughs> you usually lose value when you rip it. <laughs> uh, it's very hard to hit anything of value in the rip cards. What do we got here? Reese Hoskins. None of, only a few of them have even been high number, the minis too. The short print ones. All right. Jacob DeGrom, Gibson, Henderson. That's cool. Yoshida rookie. Cal Ripken, that's got to be a... Nope. Miguel Cabrera. And then we got Shohei on the insert. That's cool. And this is a... What's this one? Oh, this is the World of Wonder. All right. Last stack here. All right, here we go. Randy Johnson. Mark Mulder. Let's see. Fun in the Sun. Paul Goldschmidt, Goldilocks. Regular back. Oh, there's our Wemby. All right, we're going to get him sleeved up right away. Just, you know. It's probably the biggest base card in the set, honestly. So get him sleeved up, put him right there. Got Derek Jeter and Jimmy Rollins on the Allen and Ginter back. All right. Alec Manoa, we saw him in a previous video. What do we got here? We got Eric Davis. No, Barry Larkin. That's a high number. So this is this or the next pack is gonna be our last hit. And I believe it is gonna be the next pack. Ooh, we got another um one of these minis. Is this the only in? Yeah, so we got two of these only ins. That's that's interesting. Usually only get one. So I'm gonna save that pack for last. I feel like that's gonna be the, the pack with the hit. Let's see, Tristan Casas. Another black border here of who's that of? Henry, Tommy Henry. Cool. So a nice rookie. Ooh, Alvarez, nice. Can't complain with that. Kevin Hart, it's funny. Ooh, nice one. Oh, I thought that was I thought that was Adley. <laughs> Never mind. Kyle Stowers on the uh, regular back. Two packs left. Julio, very nice. Corbin, nice. Oh, that's just one card. Barry Larkin. And we got a, who's this, Max Meyer, Allen and Ginter back. All right. And this pack should be our last hit of the box. See what it's going to be. Looks like it's going to be, uh, I can't tell yet. Oh, I think it's going to be an autograph. I'll put it to the back here. Actually, get the mini too. Oh, another black border of Kuroda. Uh, that's a high number, actually. All right, let's see what we get here for our autograph. I think these are uh, the the uh, the the bronze border is as autograph, I believe. So let's see. Let's see if we can get lucky here. Um, is it backwards? It's upside down. Rookie card autograph of. Ooh, can we tell who that is? I can't tell. White sock. Sosa. Is that Lennon Sosa? Yeah. Lennon Sosa autograph. So not the best name there. Not the best rookie we could have gotten. Uh, this is another guy that's following him, following me around a lot this year. Lennon Sosa. Uh, I got his auto, getting his autograph a lot, but uh, it's not a very high dollar value um, autograph, but still take it. 
it's nice to get an autograph. You're not guaranteed an autograph in these boxes. So I've seen boxes where you get three relics. So still good to get an autograph, put them up there. And uh, that's the box right there. So I'll be back with box number two very shortly. See y'all.